Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get your single stage snowblower ready for the first big storm of the winter. So this is mine. It's uh, Yard Machines by MTD. It has a Chinese engine. It's, it's actually a really good motor, despite what everyone else says on the internet. It has electric start. Um, here's what like here's what it has. It's 179 cc's, 21 inch cutting path. Uh, yeah, I think it's a power mower engine. It's a pretty nice machine. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks on how to get your snowblower ready for the first big storm of the winter. Okay, so the first tip I'm going to be telling you guys is if your snowblower has electric and a recoil starter. Make sure they both work. So I'm gonna de I'm gonna demonstrate that now. First, I'm gonna use the pull start. A little, a little throttle, a little choke, a couple primers. There we go. Let's see if she starts up. Oh, nope. Choke off. More throttle. One second. Sorry, my fingers blocking the camera. Choke. Okay, so as you saw there, the pull start worked great. Now, we're gonna try to use the electric start. Okay, so to use the electric start, you just get your extension cord, plug it into here, put the choke on a little bit, give her a little throttle, and then just hit the button. And there we go, and then just unplug it when you're done. Turn the choke off. Okay. So this thing runs great. So the next tip I'm gonna be sh showing you guys is about the cables and the controls. So in the winter time, things get wet and they get, and they rust. So my tip is just get some WD-40 and if you have any cables, shoot this down the cable so then it won't rust. Just like that, do it for all of them. And then also for the wheels. So just go on like the axle here. And like behind there. We'll get the other side behind here. There we go. And then, also, I made a mistake last year. I oiled the chute, and don't do that, because on these single stage snowboards with these hand chutes, it has like notches for it to go in, and if you oil it, um, it's just gonna be loose and like go everywhere, so don't oil your chute. Just oil this pitch part, not the actual turning chute. So the next tip is going to be about the scraper bar. So um, before you use your snowblower for the first time, make sure the scraper bar isn't cracked and make sure that there's like enough life left on it, which on this one there is. And also check the auger paddles because on single stage snowblowers, it has these rubber paddles here. And if they're worn down, the snowblower isn't gonna throw snow very far and it's also not going to propel itself which is what the paddles do. They shove the snow and they rub against the pavement here um, to propel the machine forward. And also, check in there, because last year um, I had to get this whole assembly replaced because right there on that weld, it cracked and then it wouldn't work, like it wouldn't even spin. So yeah, just make sure that's not cracked. And if it is, get it replaced right away before you break anything else. So my next step is get some rust prohibitor. Um, this is just undercoating that you people use on cars. You can get it at Canadian Tire. Um, it may not be this Crown brand. I saw it at Canadian Tire. It was like fluid film. Fluid film, that will also work great. So what you're going to do is on... This will work on dual stage snowblowers too. So just get this. Spray it on all the rusty all the rusty spots like up there and down there. And it'll prevent that. Oh, and on the outside too. That's also important. But if the exhaust is rusty... I wouldn't worry about spraying it because it'll just burn the coating off because it gets so hot. Okay, so my next tip is concerning fuel treatment. So on snowblowers, you don't use your snowblower as much as you do as your lawnmower. So on your lawnmower in the summertime, you don't have to worry about putting this in the fuel. But when you go to store, you do. And on a snowblower, um, just make sure to put this. It's just a small engine tune-up and a fuel stabilizer. Make sure to put this in the gas tank because it'll tune the engine up as it runs and it'll make sure that the fuel doesn't get all gummy and varnishy in the carburetor when it sits. Okay, next tip, check your belt. I can't stress this enough. Um, it's really it's really frustrating when you're 
Okay, it's really frustrating when you get a dump of snow and you fly off your snowblower and then boom, the belt breaks. That sucks, trust me. And it sucks to change it in the cold. So make sure when it's nice out like this and not cold, go ahead and remove this belt cover. It's just on your model, it may be different, but on mine, it's just a bunch of 3 8 bolts. This comes off and your belt's in there. And uh, I changed this last year when I replaced the augers. So I don't, I'm not gonna worry about it, but if you haven't changed your belt in the wild, you're gonna wanna change it to make sure that it doesn't break in the middle of a snowstorm when you're like cleaning your driveway. Okay, so another tip is um, if you know you're getting a lot of snow the next day, just the night before you get that big snowstorm, fire up your snowblower to make sure that everything works and to make sure that you're gonna be fine the next day. Final tip is when you store your snowblower in your garage with a concrete floor or any floor, um, just store it on a piece of wood, meaning drag the machine and set it down, set the scraper bar on the piece of wood. This will prevent it from rusting and um, the wood is softer than the hard concrete, so it's not gonna bend the scraper bar as much. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, um, share it with your friends. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.